Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 41, Football Manager 20. Won't be able to say that much longer, will we? Uh, but anyway, let's get moving in. Uh, so we finished up last episode with Southampton and Millwall. Uh, we did beat West Brom 2-1 in the FA Cup third round. Craig Mitchell with an early goal. Adam Ida put us up 2-1. Uh, we did have uh, Roger Stevenson, our Liverpool loney at right wing, sent off in the 27th minute with a straight red card. Uh, they got one back in the second half, but we were able to stretch it out and get the victory. Reading a 2-0 victory, Craig Mitchell and Nico Williams with the goals. Preston a 2-1 victory, Aaron Collins and Harvey White with the game winner in the last minute of the match. Middlesbrough a 2-1 win. David Vieira and Roger Stevenson with the winner, again, coming in stoppage time for us. Uh, then we played the fourth round matchup against Barnsley. Probably should have won this. Harvey White got a penalty. Adamida added one in the second half. And then uh, Maraton Shabani got one in the 81st minute to equalize. And the former Leeds player, Mateus Bogic, uh, with an 84th minute game winner to send us to defeat. Uh, that kind of trickled over uh, into our next league match, a 3-2 loss to Derby. Craig Mitchell and Aaron Collins with quick succession goals to put us up 2-0. And we give up uh, Tyler Roberts, another former Leeds player. Uh, 81st minute and to equalize and an 89th minute game winner as our defense just fell apart. And we beat Huddersfield 3-1, Ida with a brace, and we picked up an own goal for insurance as well. Taking a look at the competition, we are currently on 72 points after 31 matches. Five losses, three draws, plus 32 goal differential. We are playing very well. We have a nine point advantage over Bristol City for automatic promotion. Things are looking good. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Uh, we are into uh, getting into mid-February, so that means we have also finished the transfer window. So let's take a look at what transpired here. Uh, we did send out Terrence Baia for $105,000. He goes to Paris FC. Uh, he was our... He was a reserve left back, you know, just felt he was expendable. So we let him go for a little bit of money. Alessandro Crouchy goes to Oxford for 64000 Both of those were basically at value. Uh, Crouchy was just not playing very much. He had been out on loan a lot. So let him go. Leighton Clarkson we sent out on loan. Jackie Moore goes back out on loan. We actually canceled his loan. We recalled him in the window because he wasn't playing um, in with the club he was at. And then we've sent him back out to a new club, Leighton Orient. I hope that was a new club. Yeah, he was at Blackpool. Cool. Tunji Akinola, his loan ended at midseason. He goes off to Falkirk on a new loan. Janiel Bennett goes to Wigan for $105,000. Uh, just expendable. Again, not the greatest upside. He's done a job for us, just, again, not playing a lot. Brian Mirez goes to Wigan also for $400,000. And he, I was kind of planning on keeping him, but I think we had enough at right back that we were able to make it work. Um, Yanev did not, Yanev is the Bulgarian that wanted us to sign a friend, then got mad. So we just signed him at the beginning of this season and got mad because I didn't sign a friend because I couldn't figure out what friend he wanted me to sign. Then we did sign a young Bulgarian who joined at the beginning of February and he never recognized this young Bulgarian. So I guess they weren't friends and uh, he still whinged about wanting to go off. And finally, at the end of the month, I said, you know, let's go ahead and get rid of him. Uh, Luda Goretz picks up almost a million dollars for him. We, I think we took, uh, we made a little bit of money on him. We bought him for five hundred thousand, sell him for nine seventy five. So made a little bit of profit. That brings us to four point one million on received. And taking a look, we only brought in a handful of guys. Uh, we paid five hundred fifty thousand for Simon Forstmeyer. 
from Bauckham. Taking a look at him. More potential, 18-year-old uh, right back. He could probably do a job for us now, but he was more of a future get. But he may see some action down the stretch since we got rid of both Mirez and Yanev. That was an oversight on my part. I probably should have kept Mirez. But you can see there was about a week between those two moves, and I'd already pulled the trigger on Mirez when Yanev started uh, just throwing a temper tantrum. Uh, Vasil Zadravkov from September, Sofia for 105000 Uh He's the young Bulgarian that we had signed. Didn't matter. Uh, three and a half star potential. He will probably be short lived. Uh, I suspect I will move him on at some point. Ross Sykes comes in from Livingston for one hundred and thirty five thousand. Uh, three and a half star potential. He could play center back. Uh, he can also play right back, defensive mid. Can't really cross the ball, so he'd be more of a defensive presence. Uh, but six foot five, he can certainly uh, anchor the defense. And uh, actually has pretty decent passing, so he could be a ball-playing defender if we were so inclined. But he also has pace uh, and could move up to be depth in that defensive mid spot. So he's English, so that's why I picked him up. And Robbie McKenzie was a uh, Sykes we were looking at a couple of days ahead. Uh, around the time that we moved Yanev because he play, he could play right back. Uh, Robbie McKenzie was a signing day uh, move, 165000 from Hull. Uh, he could play all three back positions, but he's more accomplished as a right back. 25 years old, so still young. So he slots in as our reserve right back and probably our starting right back next year as things stand right now. So that's that's the ins and outs. We are $600,000, $700,000 to the positive in earnings this year. Uh, things are looking well in the league. Taking a look at the squad real quick, uh, Adam Ida has reached 20 goals on the season. Collins is on 18. Leighton Stewart is on 9. You'll notice Leighton Stewart is in uh, pretty poor morale. Uh, we got an offer for him but it was nowhere near his release clause. I mean, like, no, not even 50% of his release clause. So we had made a counter offer. They withdrew the offer, and now he's really chuffed uh, at us. Chuffed is not the right word. He's pissed off. He is not a happy camper. Chuffed, I believe, is the opposite of that, kind of a little happy about things. No, not this guy. Uh, 21 years old. I think what I'm going to do is let's compare him with Collins. So Stewart's better in the air, a little bit faster, and these guys mostly play pressing forwards. Pretty evenly matched. Concentration is the one. Big laps. Bravery's also a little down. Acceleration. Edge to Stewart. Finishing slight edge to Collins. I don't know. Don't know. But I may, I may give him a few more matches down the stretch and see if he just kind of resettles in. We'll see. All right, today's match. I did come back one match early uh, just because Fulham was rated higher than Leeds was in the standings. Uh, fifth for Fulham. Leeds, I believe, is currently ninth. Yep, ninth. So... Uh, we've, you know, the next three matches are all going to be pretty good, but uh, let's get here. Uh, another sellout. So we're selling out every match in the home stadium since the renovation was completed with the seat expansion. So we've gone from what, when we first started, we were what, 5,100 was capacity. So we've doubled that, more than doubled that. So we're doing well. Uh, let's see. We are at home. So we're going to pop over to the home tactic. All right, so Palmer in goal. Swatridge will move into the left back slot. Williams on the right. Uh, Swatridge is going to start because Wharton is suspended uh, for yellow card accumulation. McGinley, Bellotti in the middle. Uh, do I want... Let's put Morell in there. Mitchell on the wing. Stevenson on the other side. White and Morell. Can Dia... You know what? I'm going to... 
I'm going to run that pairing. Now, Diacotti finishing is 11. Tell you what, I'm going to swap those two guys. We'll move White back to the defensive mid. Mm -hmm. Or we won't. No, we won't. Let's go with that. Collins and Ida. Let's put Stewart up there with Ida. He did not have a good week of practice. His uh, his mentality got him down. Uh, I think he played a 6.1 in training over the week. We'll see if he can uh, sort his stuff out. Ask for some creativity. Into the box. Ida controls it. There's Cross. Nobody there. Ida brings it back in. Stevenson and Ida. So Ida Stevenson back to Ida and the goal. His 21st of the season. Stevenson gets the assist. And I don't think the keeper had a shot on that when he was going back and forth. He looked really good, but Gunn could only do so much and reverse a direction so many times. Oh, John Kevin Augustin. You know, in real life, I, I hope he does well. I, he just went to uh, Nantes, I think it is. Oh, there's a header by Craig Mitchell. He just won uh, Championship Player of the Month. So he is uh, he is in really good form. Just picks up his ninth goal. So that is good. Swatridge is on a yellow. Let's praise him here for the final minutes of the half. Nine shots, eight on target. Can't do much better than that. And we kick off the second half, holding on to that 2 0 advantage. Couple of quick yellow cards. Tell you what, let's go back to positive. And let's see. I could see making a sub here. If I bring Nico up, then we can bring Rawson on the back line. Liam Lindsay. Let's bring him on for Bellotti. I want to look at him. I haven't. So he's played a little bit. He's not one of the. Okay, so we just picked him up on a free. He's had three appearances. So, yeah, okay. Did we just pick him up in the uh, transfer window? Must be one of our newer players. All right, here's White again. Ida playing way back. Loses it, gets it back. All right, we're dropping back. All right, there's a ball out. Mitchell cuts inside, loses it. Possible foul there in the box. Maybe not. All right, McGinley. There's Lindsay making an appearance. Might be his first video appearance for us. Oh, Rawson loses it. And, oh, I thought he came right through the back of his man. And he gets it back. Never given up. And Ida slots that home. His 22nd of the season, second of the game. And we're up 3-0. I think we're going to go back to balanced. And let's go ahead and slow the pace down with possession changes. Oh, you know what else we could do? Uh, well, not that, evidently. <laughs> hey, I do appreciate, uh, you know, some of the thoughts of condolences uh, that uh, some of you guys tossed out. Much appreciated. Uh, again, I will be out of town end of this week. In fact, this video may go up Thursday. And so I will actually be flying out of town today, out of state, uh, to go to uh, my friend John's fun uh, funeral services over in North Carolina. Uh, so just trying to knock these out so you guys don't get anything put on hold. Swatridge, I don't have anybody there. 
you know what we could we could move McGinley outside and then we could bring the era on the back line let's do that that's a lot of adjustments to our uh, our back four and Vieira just comes on gets on the line puts head on ball ball in goal second goal of the season white that's at least his second assist of the match We'll give them some praise. They get one back. Jack Stevens, his first of the season. And he runs in and grabs the ball and marches it back to midfield. Set piece goal. Gunn comes out and grabs that one. I think I've had Gunn on a team before. His name is real familiar. Don't remember where from. Oh, man. Jean Kevin Augustin. That was uh, McGinley out on the left side. He got done. Man, big Kev. Why didn't you do that for Leeds, man? Look at this. One cut. Pace beats his man. He'd still be at Leeds if he would have had the form and uh, conditioning to do that. They brought it back 4-2, but we do make it stand up. And we are now on 75 points, top of the table. Excellent efforts. And let's get on to the next match with Barnsley. We'll be back in just a second for that one. All right, we are back for Barnsley. Of course, they knocked us out of the FA Cup, so a little bit of revenge on the books. Uh, we are going to go with Ida and Collins. I was looking, I really like White, and his set pieces are to die for. He's obviously the best set piece taker for us. But I'm going to go with Diacotti and Vieira. I really want to start developing that partnership because those guys are under contract to us. And White's contract is up at the end of this season. So, um, and I did not try to extend anybody's uh loans through next year because I, I kind of made the call one of two things is going to happen either this is going to be the last season depending on how long it takes us to get to the end of the season I really think there will be at least one more or we're on track to get automatic promotion and we need to be looking at better players <laughs> going up into the Premier League. So that's uh, that's kind of the thought process. All right, uh, let's see. I did want, I'm going to bring Rawson on. All right, so we're going to have Bilotti and Rawson. I'm going to move Bilotti to the left side. Uh, he's still a better passer, so we'll let him play the ball playing spot. Swatridge is still in with uh, Wharton being out. Rob Clark, our young go uh Deputy keeper got injured. He'll be out about three weeks, so no keeper on the bench today. Hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt us. Uh, Stevenson and Mitchell on the wings, along with Williams at the right back. So let's get to it. I really like White a lot. He's probably been probably my favorite player of this save. I don't think I'm overstepping bounds to say that. Yeah, we don't want you playing with the ball. He's just on a central defend, standard defend. Oh, there's a nice ping out to Mitchell. Cuts it inside his man. Oh, and he was looking for Ida right at the touchline. Unlucky there. There's a ball in and right back out. Oh, uh, good foot in by Rawson. Good ball movement. Stevenson, he's not the best, but oh, oh, where were you, Mitchell? Where were you? Let's ask for some creativity. All right, Bilotti makes a run up, lays it off to Vieira. Back to the keeper. 
Find some space on the left side. Swatridge makes the run. He pings it towards the box. It's blocked. Back to Bellotti at the midfield line. All the way back to the keeper. That's interesting. Oh, there was a good step over move. Oh, good touch. And Aaron Collins. Oh, that was a beautiful shot with the left foot. 19th goal of the season. Diacotti looked good getting the ball into the box. Some really good flair it looked like, huh? Need to watch him again. So he came in, stepped over a tackle, cut inside and avoided another tackle, and then did the layoff for Collins to bury that. I think a lot of credit on that goal goes to Diacotti. Liking that. Liking that a lot. All right. Uh, let's get creative again. Palmer's feeling the pressure. Come on, boys. All right. They've got a highlight now. Some little one-two tip, one-two passing. Real quick distribution. And Palmer comes out of the box to make that play. Uh, David Artwell's calling for passion. Uh, I want to check. That should have went back to normal. Yeah, that's that was a little odd for him to be holding the ball up that, that long, but... Yeah, do something different. There's five of you guys back there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Not good, not good. Good block. Well, the pressure's on now. And a big save by Palmer. Yeah, playing around with the ball a little too much here. Let's, uh, let's demand more. Looks like they're really playing a pretty heavy counterattack style on us. Vieira picks up an early card here in the half. Nobody's really standing out here. We may have to try to find an impact sub for today. A good block. Good job. Oh, no, you never clear the ball. To the freaking middle of the pitch. Jesus. That's like defense 101, isn't it? All right, good ping up. There's an overlap opportunity. Stevens beats his man into the box, takes the shot. That could have been better. Nobody's, well, Stevenson actually is not playing well. Let's bring McGinnis on for him. I'm going to bring uh, Harvey White on, and then we'll swap him and Diacotti. We'll go there. Get creative. Oh, there's a header that just sails over the bar. I don't know what kind of product that is, a screw fix, but it's evidently available at retailers near you. If you have a problem with that. <laughs> and Mitchell, that was lackluster. Barnsley not really packing the house. Oh, a little ding dong ditch there. Oh, look, wide open. Closes him down there. That's good. Oh, what a shot by Connor Chaplin, his fifth of the season. Alex Mowat, former Leeds player, possibly. I believe that's a familiar name. But they have just equalized. Let's bring Vidal on on that side. Come on, boys. Oh, popped away by Ida. And he cannot beat the keeper one-on-one. -on -one. 
Keeper did a good job not to come off his feet or off his line. Um, push forward. They're frustrated. We are attacking. There's White. Can he steal the points for us? Oh, just goes wide. He was looking to bend it inside that post. That was a little unlucky. He was having the eye for the goal there. Come on, boys. Oh, good tackle. Is that Swatridge? Yep, good tackle. The waning seconds of the match. Cleared out. That should be it. And there it is. We're going to have to settle for a point. They played us tough, but uh, that draw, looks like Southampton got the win. So they've closed within five. Palace moves up over Bristol City. And Barnsley remains just outside of the playoff hunt. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be a little assertive. Unlucky, maybe. That didn't go well. So super sub Connor Chaplin rescues Barnsley. All right, we've got leads up next. I will do that off camera. I think we go ahead and get a chunk. We're out of the FA Cup. That's a pretty easy stretch for us, I would think. I tell you what, I'm going to come back for... I'm going to come back for Watford and Bristol City. And we'll kind of play it by ear, much like we did last season. If it looks like we are going to get automatic promotion, we'll just blow through. You know, I'll just skip that last episode, move into the transfer window. Uh, if we've got it, you know, a, a promotion sewn up by then. If we don't, then we'll come back for at least QPR, if not both MK Dons and QPR. We've got a pretty easy run in here, don't we? I mean, Leeds is ninth, 24th, 22nd. Palace will be a big match. Bristol City, we all, out of all these games, what's that, 14? 13 matches, only two are against teams in the top 10. That's got to be the easiest run in I've ever had or ever seen. Luck of the draw, I suppose, but anyway. Yeah, let's plan on that. Let's go ahead and do Watford, Bristol City. If things get exciting during this play while I'm playing these matches, of course, I always reserve the right to pop back in uh, and let you guys, uh, you know, know what's going on and do a match, you know, an episode there. But assuming everything goes to plan that we win the bulk of these, and we're still in line for the auto promotion. Let's come back for Watford and Bristol City. Guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hope you guys are still enjoying the save. I I tell you what, I'm really surprised. I, you know, I have I have very rarely done a single team save, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, still looking for suggestions from you guys for the beta and for FM21 save. So. Let me know your thoughts, things that you'd like to see, clubs you'd like me to manage down in the uh, comments. And uh, I will definitely take those under advisement, especially if it's a club I've never played with before or a league I've never done before. That would be, uh, you know, just more exposure to me. See you guys. Take care. Bye.